Let's take it out. I'm in my closet. I'm trying to figure out if I wanted to change before I have to go out later to the DoorDash because August 1st got all over my, my little, I feel like wearing black today. And I think that's almost every day. That's kind of bad, but I'm not um with those people that wear black all the time. No, I just, I don't know. I feel comfortable in black. But that's, we're going to get into that discussion. Um, depression is real. And at first, I thought I was really crazy. And then, and let me let me explain this. Because y'all know y'all looking at me like, really crazy. Let, let me explain this. So, I have mood swings. Bad. Um... There's at times where I can be like mad, you know, jolly happy, and then within the second, boom, I could go from zero to hundred. Now, um, at first I thought I just thought it was like, you know, anger issues and stuff like that. Yeah, it kind of is, but then other stuff started to happen. So, before I get into that, let me just give you a basic, you know, background of my life. So, in third grade, my mom had brain surgery to take out a tumor out of her brain. And from third grade, my life has changed. Like, I had to grow up quickly. Like, I, I didn't get to enjoy my childhood, like, you know many are supposed to. I had to do more. I had to look out for, you know, my younger siblings. And mind you, I'm the oldest side of everybody. So life was just different. Life was just weird. Then growing up, my parents were together. Um, my mom was with my stepfathers. And then my pops was with my stepmom at the time. And I grew up going house to house, basically. And as a child, like, you just, your head is just all over the place. You're here, one minute you here, one minute you there. One minute you're this place, one minute you're that place. And I don't know. I was just, it was just me trying to find my way, trying to figure out where I wanted to be and all that and third and whatever. Um, so I remember life before my mom's surgery. And then after her surgery, it's just, it just went downhill. She got, you know, she was disabled on her whole left side and Just difference. Like, I had to start working at an early age. Summer Youth Employment was my favorite person, favorite group, you know, in New York. And my goal was just, you know, how to make money and how to take care of those and me and help my mom as much as I can. And I really ain't see it as me not living life. You feel me? I grew up also in a strict household, so it's I get to do much things, and then when I got to the age I wanted to do things, it was just like okay, boom, like say okay, partying and all of that. I when I got like twenty, twenty one, like started partying and all of that, and then after a while it's just just dead. Like I don't even care to go to a club. All right hardly drink at all probably like one percent of the time um you may catch me picking up a liquor or whatever but childhood was just different it was just really different now um growing up my headspace is just 
I'm still in and out of moods. Um, hardly could sleep. I'd be up all times of the night or I'll be up um, late in the mornings because I do, I do DoorDash now. And I work probably like till 12, but I won't see myself sleeping till like four or five. Like it, it'd be bad, like it'd be bad, it'd be bad. Um, <sighs> depression is no joke. Um, yes, I have many insecurities about myself. Um, at times, well, I can't say at times, all times, I'm, I just like to be to myself most of the time. Um, I probably have two, two outside people outside my family. Like I consider them family now, but two outside people that, um, I'm close with, but other than that, it's probably two people and a couple of people, a couple of family I have on my hands that I can, you know, say I actually, like, cool with, like, um, but it's hard, I'm not gonna lie, waking up, trying to push, trying to do what you gotta do, then you get responsibilities, and Whoever said growing up, feeling to be adult, don't do it. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it. Like, I think I'm more stressed out now than I am, than I was when I was younger. And it's not good to be stressed because stress kills. Like, I'm learning to, you know let go of, you know, all your issues and your problems. Like, I'm not saying to forget about them because they have to be addressed. But I take it day by day. I take a task day by day, like one by one. Like, being depressed, yeah, it's, it gets hard. It's it's really hard. I'm not gonna lie. There's sometimes I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to be bothered. But seeing 2020 is seeing a lot of people die. I don't know. It just woke me up in a sense because Those people will never get to see another year. They, they will never get to experience the life. And being in that whole quarantine has truly, like, taught me to get in tune with myself. It's all about self-healing. Um, I started picking up, you know, little hobbies, um, trying to take care of myself a little bit more, trying to worry about my skin and um, focus more back on my hair growth because during quarantine, I was losing it. I cut my hair. I was bald, y'all. I was bald. I got to find a picture. I was bald. Um, you just got to find stuff that, you know, that will kind of change your mood, change the way you're feeling. Um... Music is my outlet. Um, I'm learning that what you listen to will generate what comes out. Um, me, I I used to listen to hip hop, R and B, all the night in the day, but listen to music now. I don't want to hear about lust, ass, and 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 girls boobs and all that no I don't, I don't care about that i don't care about money drugs or i don't care about that i just care about you know making myself better so i started listening to um what is it called contemporary music more so like contemporary jazz music um always been listening to gospel um but i learned to 
only allow positive things my way and positive people. If you have nothing positive, with all the drama and the stress and the negativity that I'm trying to push out, I don't need to attract it back to me at all. So it's all about changing for the better. It's not changing for nobody else but for you. And as I said, it's day by day. You just got to push. Like It's hard, but you just got to push. Like. talking about that kind of it's hard talking about this because I'm normally to myself and I really don't like people in my business my soul but I'm learning to open up more and I want to get to the part where I'm able to have just straight transparency you know um It's all about change. That's it. That's all I can say. Like, if you want better, you have to do better. And to start with change, you have to start with yourself. So let's try this out. <laughs> Later, y'all. Like, I I know y'all see the my little closet filled with junk. I just had to come in the closet and speak. I feel I feel like I can speak out more. I feel like, I don't know, it's my little cubby, my little... I need to make this my secret hideaway. Create a chamber in here. We're going to figure something out where we could just talk one-on-one, -on -one, talk truth and talk realness. I think that would be cool. Later, y'all. Yeah.